Hey guys, it's me again, but if you don't know me, my name is Rachel. So, today's video is going to be a how I style my masks with my outfits video. This is also a good reminder for you guys to wear your masks while you're out. It's also early in the morning, <clears throat> and I sound like that. Anyways, this is a bit different from my normal content, but I hope you enjoy it. I really like fashion, so it's just like a little um, intro to a little bit more fashion content. So the first part is actually going to be me showing you how to make my mask, and then the next section are just five outfits that I've been wearing out since like quarantine or like when I'm able to go out. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. So here's my little tutorial on how to make an easy face mask. I didn't choose the ones with pleats because that is way harder. So you just need some fabric. Here's some super thin elastic to go for the sides. Um, there's three sizes of this. I like the teen size. It fits me and my friends faces a bit better. So I'm going to start with my inside fabric and I'm going to use the first teen piece. So you're going to have to use that one time on this side. And then flip it over and do the other side as well. You want to make sure you do both sides because then when you put the right sides together when you're sewing it, ensure that the right side is on the outside, like the pretty side. Here's my two inside pieces and then the outside pieces, you're going to use piece one. So now I'm going to get some fusible interfacing to make it a little thicker since it's a bit see-through. So I'm just cutting that out and using the patterns I used for the inside of my fabric, of my mask. Basically it has some glue on the back and when you iron it, it sticks on. So now I've got my pieces. We're going to want to sew down the middle. Make sure you have the right sides facing inwards, so the pretty sides. And then just sew down that. So once you've done that, flip them right sides out and stick them together like this. And then sew right on the bottom and top edge. I am basically pinning the two bottom and top pieces together and opening the seams so it's a bit neater. You don't have to do that, but I prefer to do that. Then you flip it inside out and then now it's time for ironing. So basically you want to open the seams. I'm doing that right here. And then you just iron it flat. Now I'm going to take these side pieces, fold it in about a quarter of an inch. I just kind of eyeball it. And then I fold it in again to maybe like a half an inch. So this is going to be the casing for the elastic. And I'm ironing it so it stays there while I'm going to sew it. So now we're just going to re-sew over the spots just to do a little top stitch really close to the edge. And then we're going to sew down the sides also to make the casing for the elastic. And once you're done with that, I just clip all my threads and then I cut seven inch pieces of elastic and then thread it through with a safety pin. And then I just tie it in a knot. But that's basically it, and that's how I make my face masks. So for this first outfit, I wanted to start out kind of simple. I've got my yellow face mask with the gingham on it. I actually wore this outfit when I went thrifting with Sydney the other day, but I am wearing this top I got from Forever 21. It's super cute. I wore it to the Billie Eilish concert too. These jean shorts that I got from Hollister. I don't really like them that much, but those are the only shorts I had. The shoes I am wearing are my Sunflower Vans. They are customs. And of course, I got them in platform. So now I'm maybe one or two inches taller. And I'm wearing this Sunflower necklace that I got from Pura Vida. It's super cute. It's like a little choker. And these huge star earrings that I got from Francesca's. This outfit is definitely perfect for a summer day out. It's just kind of simple. I think it's very much me because yellow is actually my favorite color, um, believe it or not. Sometimes I wear black and sometimes I just wear pastel colors. There really is no in between at this point. You'll see that with the rest of these outfits, but I love the yellow accents I have.
So my next outfit is kind of the opposite of what I was wearing before. Um, as you can tell, I don't know what my style is and that's okay. So I have these ripped jeans that I got from American Eagle. That is my favorite jean store, even though they're pretty expensive. They're like the only jeans that fit me properly, so I always buy my jeans from there. They're like this dark wash. It's been like bleached, so it's more of a dark gray and it's got huge rips in it. I actually didn't know how to style these until I got this brand new Melville top from the thrift store. It was like only eight bucks. I'm really happy I found it, but it goes super well with these pants because I couldn't figure out what to wear with them. I'm wearing my white face mask just to have the pants stand out more. And I've got this chain cause um, I'm edgy or whatever. And that's also from Brandy Melville. And with this outfit, since it was a little more edgy, I guess, I wanted to put my boots with it. I haven't worn my boots in so long because I literally haven't been going anywhere and it's still kind of summer, but like, it's kind of like, the weather here is kind of weird because sometimes it's raining and sometimes it's not. I mean, I guess that's Washington for you. I depend on the way you send chills down my spine. Wanna give you. Of, uh, which outfit is this third outfit the third outfit is more of a casual look it's kind of like what i wear when i have to go out but i've been home all day and i don't really want to wear anything that fancy or like i don't feel like wearing jeans i put this one with my white mask i could also like pair it with my yellow mask because the little flowers on my shirt are yellow but i thought with the white mask it'd be a little more simple so i'm wearing this top that i got from tilly's it's like one of those like brandy melville cut tops with like the cinch in the middle and it's got these cute little yellow flowers on it and i'm wearing these american eagle sweatpants that i got quite a while ago it's got american eagle down the side i really like them and then i put over it this oversized jean jacket that i got from target super cute it's actually a size small yeah, I can't believe that's a size small, but anyways, it's supposed to be oversized. And I also paired these with my white Nike Air Force, I mean, no, my white Nike Air Force Sage ones, I think. I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> and then I'm wearing this necklace that I got from Forever 21. I love their jewelry because it's really cheap. And then I am wearing these earrings. These are also from that store in England. I don't remember what it's called, but it has these little gems on them, which are super cute. my fourth outfit i wore this to the beach the other day it's super cute i am in love with this bucket hat i got it from urban outfitters it was really expensive but i really liked it so i bought it anyways and i've got this shirt from hollister super cute it's kind of ruched and it's like a little tank top and then i got these like soft jean looking pants from airy my absolute favorite store in the universe i love airy and i put this with my plaid mask because i thought it would look kind of cute since the outfit's sort of plain besides the hat for jewelry i've got this necklace that says ray on it i got it from an instagram store i'll put it down below you can customize the letters that you put on it and it's super cool for earrings this is also in that three pack of hoops that i got this these are the silver ones i am in love with this hat it's my absolute favorite hat ever like, I don't regret anything. Like, this was so worth $24. <laughs> and once again, I pair these with my white shoes. I could have put them with sandals, but I felt like the white shoes really tied in all the white that I was wearing. God, I can show you around. There's like a hundred times. <laughs> this last one is the most black, edgy looking this is the most opposite from literally all the outfits from before but as i said i my style is i don't even know anyway so i got this top from the thrift store but you know what's really funny is that i found the exact same print on shein so i'm kind of confused but anyways i thrifted this a little while ago and then i hemmed the bottom because it was so long it was a dress size and then i got these cargo pants from forever 21 and these are the most comfy pants in the universe and the pockets are so deep you can literally hold everything in there realistically i would wear this outfit with french braids but i was not about to take my hair out after i french braid it for like 30 minutes so i just opted for normal braids 
and I look like a 12 year old, but just imagine me with French braids because it wouldn't make me look cooler. And for jewelry, I'm wearing this necklace I got from Francesca's. Me and Sarah both have one, but hers is pink and mine's black, or more of a white gray color. And then again, what did you expect? The white shoes are back. The platform white shoes, may I add. Anyways, that is it for the outfits, and now into the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you made it this far, comment your favorite outfit from all the outfits I showed you. And yeah, if you like this video, you should like it. And if you like me and you think I'm cool, you should subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of me throughout the week, follow my Instagram. I'm trying to be more active on there. It's kind of fun, actually. See you guys next week. Bye. Oh,